Hey, welcome back to the Kim Ludd channel. We're excited to jump into a new topic today. Before we get into the details, make sure you subscribe because this story of NVIDIA's H20 chip is more than just about semiconductors. It is a geopolitical thriller unfolding in real time. In 2025, the rivalry between the United States and China has turned advanced chips into the most contested weapons of the new era. At the center of this storm is NVIDIA's H20 chip, a product specifically created to serve the Chinese market under U.S. export restrictions. What began as a compromise design has now spiraled into allegations of backdoors, halted production, massive financial losses, and the possibility of China abandoning American technology altogether. This controversy captures the intersection of supercomputing, artificial intelligence, and political distrust. And it may redefine how the world approaches the balance of power in technology. Before we get into the details, make sure you subscribe, because this story of NVIDIA's H20 chip is more than just about semiconductors. It is a geopolitical thriller unfolding in real time. The origins of the H20 chip. The NVIDIA H20 was introduced in late 2023 as part of a family of chips designed to comply with stricter U.S. export restrictions targeting China. Unlike the high-powered H100 and H200 GPUs, which were deemed too advanced to sell in China, the H20 was deliberately limited in performance to pass regulatory approval. However, NVIDIA still gave it cutting-edge features, including 96 gigabytes of HBM3 memory and 4.0 terabytes per second bandwidth, surpassing the H100 in memory speed. Its total compute power, though lower at 296 teraflops, was still more than enough to handle large language models, with benchmarks showing up to 20% faster inference performance. For China, the H20 was supposed to be a lifeline. By mid-2025, NVIDIA had arranged for nearly 300,000 units to be produced by TSMC, with suppliers like Foxconn, Samsung, and Amcor assembling the chips. Chinese firms, including giants like Tencent and ByteDance, lined up to acquire them, yet what looked like a diplomatic workaround quickly turned into a lightning rod of suspicion, U.S. export controls, and the policy reversal. The United States initially banned exports of the H-20 in April 2025, citing national security concerns that powerful GPUs could accelerate China's progress in AI and supercomputing. For a brief moment, it appeared NVIDIA had lost one of its largest markets, as China accounted for 13% of its revenue, roughly $17 billion annually. But in July 2025, under political negotiation, the U.S. government reversed course, allowing H-20 sales to continue. The catch was unprecedented. NVIDIA and other chip makers had to surrender 15% of all China chip revenues to the U.S. Treasury. Beijing's counterattack and allegations of backdoors. In early August 2025, Chinese state media began publishing coordinated criticisms of the H-20. The official People's Daily, along with the influential account Yu Yuan Tantian, linked to state broadcaster CCTV, branded the H-20 as unsafe, outdated, and potentially laced with backdoors. These reports warned that the chips could include hidden mechanisms allowing remote shutdowns, surveillance, or disruption of critical applications. The campaign went further, suggesting nightmare scenarios. An electric vehicle suddenly losing power mid-drive, remote surgery interrupted by blackouts, or online payments collapsing at the worst possible moment. Behind the rhetoric, regulators acted, China's Cyberspace Administration summoned NVIDIA officials, demanding technical proof that the H-20 contained no vulnerabilities or hidden controls. 
This pressure coincided with discussions in the United States over a Chip Security Act, which would have required manufacturers to add certain tracking capabilities to exported processors. Even though the proposal had not been finalized, the timing fueled Chinese suspicions that American hardware could be weaponized through embedded software or kill switches, NVIDIA's defense in the halt in production. NVIDIA strongly denied allegations of backdoors, with Chief Security Officer David Reber Jr. stating no spyware or kill switches existed in its chips, including the H-20. CEO Jensen Huang echoed this in interviews, urging Beijing not to politicize technology and warning that rejecting U.S. suppliers would hinder China's progress. By mid-August 2025, Chinese regulators advised firms like Tencent, Alibaba, and ByteDance to avoid the H-20. With falling orders and reputational damage, NVIDIA told suppliers Foxconn, Samsung, and Amcor to halt production, leaving the H-20 as a stark symbol of escalating mistrust in the U.S.-China tech rivalry. The Financial Fallout and Market Reactions the collapse of the H-20 program sent shockwaves through NVIDIA's financial outlook. The company reported zero sales of the chip and projected none for the upcoming quarter, with analysts warning of billions in lost revenue and a major write-down. For NVIDIA, heavily reliant on China, the blow was strategic as well as financial. In contrast, Chinese players like SMIC and Cambricon gained momentum, buoyed by investor optimism and state backing. Beijing framed the controversy as a lesson in technological independence, fueling nationalist sentiment online and reinforcing the drive to replace foreign chips with domestic alternatives across key industries. A battle still unfolding. As of September 1, 2025, the NVIDIA H20 backdoor controversy remains unresolved, but its consequences are already clear. NVIDIA has lost billions in projected sales, China has accelerated its push toward domestic chip solutions, and the United States continues to wrestle with the balance between profit and security. The episode underscores how technology, once seen as a neutral enabler, has become a battlefield for sovereignty and trust. Whether NVIDIA's B30A or RTX 6000D can repair the company's standing in China remains uncertain. But what is undeniable is that the age of open global markets in semiconductors is over. Chips have become political weapons, and the battle over who controls them will shape the future of artificial intelligence and supercomputing. To keep up with this fast-moving story, where every development could redefine the tech industry, do not forget to subscribe for more updates. Thank you for tuning in. You've been watching Kimload Media.